Hello everyone and welcome to my Sunday reset routine. This is a routine that I try to do every Sunday to really just reset my life for the upcoming week. I really try to do this routine every Sunday because I feel like a good like refresh is important to start off our week right, especially when life can get stressful and it just really helps. But I like to start off my morning by waking up somewhat early. So this day I woke up at 8.30 and then I get out of bed and head into the bathroom to do my normal like bathroom routine so that consists of putting my retainers in this little cleaner brushing my teeth and skincare currently i'm using curology and i actually really like it i would definitely recommend but then i move on to making my bed and although i say this is such an important step i will admit i do forget but i feel like i need it in this routine and then i move on to journaling this is a newer part of my routine but i actually really enjoy it so every morning or at least every day i try to journal so I bought this journal at Michael's and decorated it with stickers and I found a bunch of just entry ideas on Pinterest and every morning I try to do some type of entry whether it's manifesting, a diary entry, shadow work, or anything like that. But I actually really enjoy this and I would totally recommend trying this out as well. Then I like to head downstairs and have breakfast and Poppy likes to greet me at the bottom of the stairs every morning and she is so freaking adorable, I mean look at her. For breakfast today, I decided to make a bagel and not just any normal bagel, but a bagel with strawberry cream cheese. And you guys, if you've never tried strawberry cream cheese, you have to, it's so good. And then I also just had some raspberries. Hi everyone. I haven't really talked to you guys yet like on camera this morning. So good morning everyone. It is currently around 10 a.m. And welcome to my Sunday reset routine. You guys already got a little bit of like info on it in the intro. And before I move on to like my next step of my routine, I want to tell you guys like the three main goals that I have when I do my Sunday reset routine. The first one is cleaning. This is just so that I can start off the week with a fresh start and not have to feel like I'm working in a dirty environment from the week prior. The second step is self-care because it's just important to take care of ourselves and when you start off a week with self-care it can just make you feel more calm and just kind of flushing everything out from last week. And then the third step is getting it all done which basically is just getting stuff done that I've been putting off or that I need to get done because it's always good to get things done in the beginning of the week or get things done from the week prior in the beginning of the week so that you don't have to like worry about it too much throughout so yeah those are my three main goals and you guys have already seen part of my routine in the intro but the next step of my routine is to declutter and organize my physical and digital living spaces so that might sound a little weird but like my physical living space would be my room and then my digital living space would be like my computer desktop because I am on my laptop so much since I'm on it so much I feel like it's kind of like a digital living space for me so for me to declutter it in the beginning of the week is very helpful so I am going to start by decluttering and organizing my physical living space first because it's a little cluttered and especially on my desk where my laptop is so it'd be kind of hard to clean off that with a dirty desk, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and start with my physical living space. Is there something after there's nothing to say? We're just moving in circles but we're losing our Now let's declutter and organize my digital workspace. Tell me one day I'll be famous. famous. Remember when she. 
Okay guys, so the next part of my Sunday reset routine is planning for the day slash week. And the two things that I use to kind of like plan out my life is my bullet journal and then my Notion. If you guys don't know what Notion is, it's basically like an online planner kind of. So like you can get the app on your phone, your iPad, or your like laptop. I don't know if all laptops can, but like I have a MacBook Pro and I have the app. And it's just a really good way to help me plan out my life. I mainly use my bullet journal for like planning out day to day type things and then I use notion more for planning out like YouTube stuff and like life events kind of so yeah I'm going to go into both of these things and kind of update them and write down or type anything that I need to Okay, so the next portion of my reset routine is just getting anything I need done. So that could be answering emails, editing, taking like pictures for anything, and then obviously if I were doing school, like any homework or whatever. And this is definitely an important time for me because I actually like set my brain to do things and finish things that I need to do. So yeah, I'm gonna work on a couple things. I do need to take some like hair pictures for this one brand. And then I think I have a couple emails to answer. And I think that's it, honestly. I've been on top of things like pretty well recently. So yeah, let's get started. I'm not in love with you anymore. I didn't know you ever were. Let's not make this any more difficult than it already is. Okay, so I finished everything that I needed to do. If you guys are wondering why I curled my hair, it's because I needed to for some product pictures for this one company. So yeah, that's why we did that. I did not do it the best that I ever could, but that's okay, I did not need to. And my Sunday reset routine actually differs depending on the Sunday. Like today, I don't have anything to do, but some Sundays I'm like with friends or family or I need to do other things. But since today is more free than another part of of my reset routine is self-care and I do self-care in many different ways so some versions of self-care is like going outside going on a walk watching the sunset or something like that another version of self-care is just simply like relaxing and taking the day for myself so like not worrying about editing or anything which is not really the thing for today and then a third version of self-care is doing like fun things for like my body kind of it could be like doing my hair in a fun way doing a face mask mask, a bath bomb, whatever. So I think I'm gonna do that version of self-care today. What I'm thinking of doing is, obviously I already did my hair, so I'm just gonna put it up and then do like a face mask and then maybe shave because I kinda need to, but like, I, I don't know if I feel like it, but I probably will. So let's head into the bathroom and do that. Welcome to the bathroom. First up, I'm gonna put my hair up so that I don't get like face mask in it. So for my face mask today, I'm gonna use this one. It's from Teamy Blends and it's their green tea detoxifying mask. And I do also have one of the like face mask applicators. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Okay, the face mask is on and I did decide that I'm going to shave because why not? So to shave, I use this Coco Cloud Whipped Shaving Butter from Truly Beauty. I really like this because it smells really good and I like the texture of it. I don't know if you guys can like see it very well. And then of course we have our razor and then I also have this Tree Hut Sugar Scrub and I have it in the flavor Tropical Mango. I like this one a lot. I'm gonna go do that and I will be back with you guys. Okay guys, so I am back. That took probably like an hour and I'm glad to be done, but it definitely felt good. The face mask felt really good and now my skin is super smooth and it actually turned into a really nice day today. So I might go bike to Starbucks because that sounds really good. It's currently 1.15 p.m. So I'm gonna go eat some lunch and then I'll be right back with you guys. We're going in Starbucks. We're at Starbucks. 
I got a strawberry assay lemonade refresher blended with no berries. I got double chocolatey chip frappuccino with no coffee and no whip. Later. Okay guys, so I am back home and I think that is it for my Sunday reset routine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I post every Monday and Thursday at 9 a.m. PST. Oh, and one more thing. A lot of you guys have been asking me for back to school content and my school starts in the middle of August. So a little bit before then and then when my school starts, you guys will be getting back to school content. I am so excited for this type of content. Like it's always my favorite type of content and I don't really know why. So yeah, get excited for that. Although it is kind of sad that summer content is gonna be starting to end, but you know what? It's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.